So this is going to be a video of the Sinex 5222 2-ton uh, engine crane and also the uh, engine uh, adapter as well for leveling engines and different loads. The uh, cabinet is a Ludlow uh, 20 compartment uh, convertible 20 cabinet which is in another video that you can watch if you want to know more about that. So I got this uh, from a retailer a couple of years ago. It had been bought by a large industrial firm in the area and for whatever reason they sent it back and I was able to buy it at a, a very good price. And I like Sunex tools so I was not worried about buying it. So that's uh, the details there for the part number. The instructions. So one of the reasons I wanted to get this particular engine crane is because it's a dual action pump on here. So it's going up when you're pumping up or pumping down. So it speeds things up a little bit. Another positive thing about it is the front wheels are recessed. Some of them are quite a bit higher. So if you have that style, you could look at this and try to modify it, but modifying uh, lifting equipment is probably not a good idea. I needed this in order to lift my Hupmobile. When you have it on the uh, wheels, the uh, beam for the front suspension is very low to the ground. So we, and also the uh, center link as well. So if you had like a standard Harbor Freight Princess Auto crane, you couldn't do it. You'd have to lift the vehicle and put the wheels on blocks first before you tried to lift anything with it. So there was one thing I really didn't like with this uh, crane, and that is it had cotter pins on all of the uh, pins going across, like for various things. So you can lift this up and stand up the legs when you're putting it away. So it doesn't take up very much space, just the, that small part of the base. But what I ended up doing was I bought a uh, pack of these R-pins. You can get them from uh, Princess Auto and probably Harbor Freight as well. And then the hook on this thing is just ridiculous. You can't fit anything on that unless you have some gigantic chain. So if you get the engine adapter, that helps a little bit, but it only has these like L brackets. So again, you can't really lift anything with it, with that. So I went and bought a bunch of hooks. Would have been preferred if these had uh, keepers on them. You could uh, tie a string around it to mouse this so it couldn't slide out. I'm not lifting this very far in the air. It's not getting loaded onto a ship or anything. I also bought this style of uh, hook as well, so I can grab into a chair. So you'll need to buy that. Then the engine adapter is pretty good. You can use like an impact gun and move this around if you want. So right now I'm at the half ton, which is what, is that a thousand pounds I guess? Hopefully, because this cabinet weighs about 600 pounds I'm thinking. Somewhere under around 600 pounds. So we'll start lifting this up. Actually, I'll put the camera on the jack. Maybe they use the or camera on the stand rather. And I'm going to be uh, moving this across the room and putting the uh, cabinet on a scale to see how heavy it is at the end. I found that this, I've used it outdoors to move that, which is the engine in this Hupmobile which is a 5 liter Ford and an AOD transmission and on compacted dirt it works pretty good not completely smooth. It's not exactly bad either. There's bad spots in it, but it's uh, pretty doable. So I need to turn this around somehow. So let's see if we can find enough space to do that. Oh, 
great to be struggling with a suspended load. see what the, the weight is on this cabinet. Okay, so I placed uh, over the scale now. So it's an uh, inch and sixteenth wrench to uh, adjust the uh, engine leveler. I just have some tech screws holding in the sheet metal here and it's uh, that one starting to peel out of there so I have to be careful with that. I'm just going to set up the camera so we can see the weight as we bring this down. So the scale is teared out at zero. Gonna have to adjust things here a little bit. I found it was easier to move the load with the um, load closer to like the center rather than hanging over the end of the wheels. Like rather than uh, hanging out past the outriggers just to uh, back it up. A little bit. I guess I'm not going to be able to get a shot of this. Uh, maybe, you never know. We'll see. We'll try. As I uh, bring the weight down. So that's uh, zero right now. I'll try to put this kind of gently on the scale so I don't hurt it. The scale's good for a thousand pounds. Starting to go down. All right, that's all the weight off of there. And things move, so I can't tell. It says it's 435 pounds. So not gonna be able to show that to you very easily. I'll try. Take this off the stand. I'm touching it. There you go, 435 pounds for this uh, cabinet here, 20 drawers. So we'll uh, figure out what the max height is at uh, different reaches as well, and different uh, weight loadings. So that'll be part of the uh, video for the uh, engine crane. And then I'm just gonna reshoot this quickly for the uh, cabinet portion. So we'll measure the uh, height of this uh, thing's overall height reach. So right now I'm set at one half a ton. And as you can see, this reach is up very high. Another reason I bought this was I wanted to lift the cab off of my car. And the cab is not too heavy because overall the car is not that heavy. So it is, so the inside of the hook is 97 inches. So you basically have it eight feet off of the floor. Now I'm not sure if I can retract this even without plunking it on my head. So I'm gonna put it down for each uh, measurement. And you might see the paint is faded on this and that's because it was outside for two years and actually it froze into the ground and when I wanted to move it, I broke a wheel off of it. And SunX has uh, parts available. So the rear swivels are kind of expensive. I think they were like $50 American for it, but they're a metric product. You need to get the height correct and the bolt spacing for uh, attaching it correct. So I went ahead and bought it from SunX. But it, it would have been nice if I could find a, uh, a vendor that had the part 
but I was able to get it from Sonics as opposed to trying a cheap aftermarket one for $10 or something. So let's see how long it takes to lift this up here. I put some grease on the uh, shaft on the other side. estimate what the next uh, plates are going to be, the way this is designed. So we're now at one ton and we're at 91 inches. So we lost about six inches per position. So say 97 for half, 91 for one, then we're going to be down to one and a half. We take another six off of there and we're going to be at 85 and then uh, my math is starting to fall apart at this point but for uh, 2 tons 85 to be at 79 would be your total height so that's pretty good but obviously when you're down to half a ton your hook is going to be quite close to your cylinder you won't be out very far but uh, if you're lifting 2 tons you're probably not trying to get up very high it's probably something on the ground so I just wanted to show you that. I don't think there's anything more to say about the product. It was easy to put together. And I can see that it's going to last a long time. At work, we've done uh, Magnaflux on these because they're lifting tools. And some products, we actually uh, fail them as soon as we get them. And because we painted them with Magnaflux paint, you can't return them. So we actually we buy them and throw them away. But we haven't had that problem with Sunex. So uh, I think that this is a, a good product. And uh, thank you for watching.